is located just beyond the Prairie View dugout on the first base side. Hit on the ground towards third. Nice play moving to his left by Matt Carpenter. He comes up with it cleanly. Gets it over to first base. Richard retired at four out number one. A couple homers and 12 runs batted in. Lined one hop to second. Fielded by Ben Carruthers who gets it over to first base. Quickly two away and a nice start to this game. Third baseman Matt Carpenter. Batting seventh is the designated hitter Hunt Woodruff as this pitch is hit back through the middle. Base hit. Good way to start it off for Carruthers and the Horn Frogs as he picks up a leadoff single. The plate. The umpires tonight. Bruce Siegel calling the balls and strikes. A good bunt by Brian Curvin down the first baseline. Gets past the pitcher and they're not going to get Curvin. And Carruthers without hesitation makes it all the way to third. Nice aggressive base running there by Ben Carruthers as he realized that Curvin bunted it in a perfect spot. It was going to be trouble for Prairie View just to get Curvin out. He never stopped running and was able to slide into third safely. The Frogs in business with runners at first and third and nobody out. Yeah. Holiday ready at the plate. Hit on the ground, the third off the third baseman Richards. Knee kicks this short, not in time to throw anybody out. So a run comes home to make it one nothing on the fielder's choice to punch for the Frogs through the first few games. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase one down and in. Good pitch that time by Verhagen and down on strikes goes Whitby for out number one. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. Diving stab by Matt Carpenter who will get up and touch third to record the force out and end the inning. A nice play from Matt Carpenter as he took an extra base hit away from Odie Davis and he keeps Prairie View off the board. On the count is full. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Line drive, base hit. Farr is going to pick up his first collegiate base hit. Taking around first base. He's going to head to second as the ball gets away from the center fielder who slipped and fell, and Farr ends up at second base. Well, not only does Farr pick up a. The count is full. Here's the pitch. In the air towards left center field on the run. Greg Ford, he won't get to it. It's going to split the outfielders and head to the wall. Farr will score from second. On his way to second is Aaron Schultz with a stand-up double. And the Horn Frogs now lead it by a score of 2 to nothing. Back to back. Curvin lifts it in the air left field, slicing towards Greg Ford. It's shallow, tagging is Aaron Schultz. Ford makes the catch. Here comes the throw. It's offline. Schultz scores, and it's 3 to nothing. Horn Frogs. On the corner of the bag. Chopper to third. Richard feels the big hop and then air mails it down to first base. McDonald elevated, came down with it, but not in time to get Holiday. Three hits, there was one error, and they leave a couple of men stranded. We have played two full with the score. TCU three and Prairie View nothing. Here's the pitch on the way. Bunted, left side of the mound. Verhagen off quickly, picks it up, throws to first. Brian Holiday covering the sacrifice bunt is successful goes one to three and moves the runner all oh, there was some arguing in the dugout afterwards as Davis is rung up on strikes right on the outside corner Taylor Cragen painting the black 50 for the season the 1-1 one -one pitch hit sharply into left field it'll land in fair territory and then bounce into foul ground. Woodruff is aboard with a one-out double. It's three to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fifth. This one's hit sharply into the gap in left center field. It will bounce in for a base hit. Woodruff will score. Schultz on his way to second. He'll coast in standing up and Aaron Schultz with his second RBI double of the night. TCU leads it four to nothing. Al McGuire comes set and delivers this one. Hit on the ground through the hole on the left side. Racing around from second is Aaron Schultz. He slides in safely. The 3-2 pitch, low for a ball. Holiday aboard with his second walk tonight and gets an RBI the easy way as Ben Carruthers trots home. It's now 6-0 TCU. 2-2 pitch. Got him! Curveball up in the strike zone. Down on strikes goes Richard. And the game is over. In the ninth inning for Prairie View. No runs 
on one hit. And they leave a couple of men stranded. And uh, the Horn Frogs sweep this midweek series against Prairie View, winning yesterday by a count of 10-1 to 1 tonight by a score of 6 to nothing. And, Scott, it's exactly what Jim Schlossnagel wanted from his team. He was worried about it being a trap series, a series that was sandwiched in between tough old Miss ball club and then a, a difficult road trip to Wichita State. He was a little worried about it, but turns out needlessly, those worries were needless as the Horn Frogs are able to win two games rather easily and get some guys some time that uh, normally, or at least up to now, haven't had a chance to play. 